Hey y'all, what's up? So you already know it's been a hot minute since we have done a hair tutorial. And truth be told, I have been honestly trying to figure out what to do with my hair now, okay? Like, I don't know about y'all, but if you've ever gone through a major hair change, hair shift, hair transition, you know that it's gonna take you a little bit of time to figure out what are the new products, what are the new techniques. And so that's what I've been doing. And also living life, being a mom, being a wife, being, just being, okay? And so I am definitely gonna be coming back to YouTube with more content, more videos. I have been actually brainstorming and working on some things behind the scenes. The last things that you have seen from me have been our podcast, the God Boat Life podcast, season one. If you haven't watched it or listened to it yet, definitely go check that out. You are going to be able to basically know all of our business, okay? But also God is really speaking through our testimony to you specifically, and that was our goal. But it's now time for me to get back here, okay? Get back to what I do, which is sharing my love for beauty, sharing tutorials, discovering new products, sharing the journey, all of those things, as well as I am working on a mom-focused series of videos. So if you are specifically looking for just like pregnancy and mommyhood things uh definitely like this video comment down below any questions you may have that i can cover in videos to come because i'm going to be sharing just things that i've learned things that people told me that wasn't true for me things that were true for me that nobody told me all that kind of stuff as you all know i'm currently pregnant with baby number technically four but my third pregnancy and I feel like this time I actually know what I'm doing, okay? First time, you have no idea what's going on. Second time, you're like, okay, I kind of know what I'm doing. But this third time, I'm like, okay, body. Like, we know what this is. We've done this before. This ain't our first rodeo. So let's get to it. And now I'm actually in a position where I feel confident in sharing things that I know that have worked for me and not necessarily feeling so bogged down with like everybody else's opinions about motherhood and pregnancy and like really feeling emboldened to share what i've actually experienced which has been a very unique experience of working with a midwife uh birthing at a birth center now currently i'm doing all of my prenatal care and my birth for this baby at home so super just excited about it can't wait to share more with you all but that's definitely what is to come but let's go ahead and get started into this hair tutorial i'm going to be sharing how i'm going to use this baby right here now this is the revlon Vol volumizer plus and the initial original volumizer brush went crazy went viral everybody has the Revlon blow dry brush basically and this is the second one that they've come out with it is slightly different than the first one it does have some real differences that I'm going to be sharing with you all in this video but this is actually gonna be my first time going from wet hair to straight hair using this alone so we gonna see about these results <laughs> and actually see if it's gonna do what it's supposed to do so stay tuned to this video to see my end results, hear my thoughts, and yeah, let's get into it. Honestly, my hair is about like, I would say like 80% dry at this point because I took a break between um, the shower and now. So I am not gonna re-wet my hair just because I feel like it, I don't know, sometimes I feel like when my hair is really wet, it's easier to get a smoother blowout, but then other times I'm like, I get the same results, but just quicker when my hair is somewhat dry. So we just gonna see from this point today. And I'm only using one product on my hair because I actually have a system in my hair called STS. It is a strengthening treatment by Design Essentials. It's straight in the salon only that you can get this treatment. It essentially helps my silk presses stay essentially for like weeks at a time. Not, not necessarily that I'm not washing my hair for weeks at a time, but it keeps your hair smooth and um, just manageable, not frizzy and things like that. It doesn't allow your hair to like revert back to curls and stuff for like up to 12 weeks. So I had never heard of STS before. Y'all let me know if you want me to do a video about my experience with this treatment. This is my second round of it. Uh, so far, I am kind of obsessed because I wear my hair predominantly straight now. So it's been everything. So definitely comment and like this video if you want to see a detailed look into like 
what my thoughts are about STS and what it actually is because it is not a relaxer. It is not a chemical treatment. Well, I think technically it's a chemical treatment, but it's a protein treatment. So it actually works really well if you are using heat or coloring your hair or any of that kind of stuff on a regular basis. So the one product I'm gonna be using today is Good Behavior, the IGK, it's a spray and it is a spirulina protein smoothing spray. This is my heat protectant, it is my serum, it is my oil, it is all the things that I need it to be because since I have this STS treatment on my hair, I, do, I don't need a lot of products on my hair. Like my hair was already pretty fine when I straightened it out before the treatment, but especially with the treatment, my hair is actually shinier and more like, I would just in a better health condition. So I don't need a lot of stuff to make it do what it do. Okay, so I'm just using a little bit of this. That's it, nothing else. Which also, that's been another thing I've discovered through this journey is that I use way less products on a regular basis when my hair is straight than when I wore it curly all the time which, hey, I'm not mad at, okay? Because less is more sometimes and also less expensive, okay? Let's go ahead and use this. So I'm gonna be using this on the high setting and I'm gonna just part my hair so that we can go like section by section. So this is section one. We might have been doing this for maybe 30 seconds, if that, and y'all, this is straight and smooth. Like movement, bounce. All right, so far so good. Let's keep going. Yo. Can we have a moment of silence? Okay, cause it hasn't even been 30 minutes of me doing this hair and we're already here. Like we're already here. We are here. Y'all, I'm living for it. I'm living for it. Cause I've got movement, I've got bounce. My hair isn't super flat. Even my little hair up here, like usually, like I honestly y'all, I mean, I don't even know if you can see this up here, but usually when I blow my hair out, I have like these little short hairs here from just like postpartum hair loss and all kinds of stuff. And like the hairs aren't even sticking up like they usually are. Like there's some a little bit that I'm gonna take my uh my tgi is this or tg stick this this right here like if you have little like unruly baby hairs you need this and like look at my look at my edges like i literally cut on my little flat iron thinking that i might need to like do it with my flat iron a little bit but i'm just gonna add this just lightly and i think we'll be good like i don't even need to touch it up so it's safe to say that I am shocked. I am shocked that we got all the way here in less than 30 minutes, first off. Second off, that I didn't even have to touch up my hair with a flat iron at all. And let's just talk about the details of this brush, which are, I think, the true game changers of this whole situation. So game changer number one, and I'm gonna try to do like a picture side by side here but this brush head is smaller and it's more like rounded and not so flat with the original revlon brush it's larger so for me when my hair was longer i really liked it because i was able to get more hair in a section at a time and really work it and make my hair really sleek and smooth and with this one, I believe you can achieve the same result. But what's nice here is that 
because the brush is smaller, you can actually create more of a curl where you want to. So it was super easy for me to make these flips in my hair while, you know, blowing my hair out. And so that especially is a game changer is the size of the brush head, but also inside this brush, the teeth are reinforced with more bristles like those like i think it's a boar head i have to look at exactly what kind of bristles these are but there's more in in the middle of these like taller red ones so it actually gives you more tension when you're pulling and the other piece of it is that because you can create tension it means that you don't need to use heat for as long because the tension and the air blowing is going to do a lot of the work for you so constantly rolling and pulling is going to do a lot of that um, straightening that you want and smoothing without having to be like so direct with the heat as you would with a flat iron and the other piece of this is that also when i was having this super close to my head Y'all, the heat was not bothering me. So you can really get to your root. And I don't know how it's so, the air is so controlled because I didn't think that. I thought that if I got too close to my head that it would burn. And in certain areas, like I would say like right in the, like here where my hair is thinner, I felt it more. But even then it wasn't unbearable. Truly y'all, it didn't even take me 30 minutes to do my hair like that never happens <laughs> like it usually takes me at least an hour and a half even when my hair is this short to like blow it out and then flat iron it to get it this straight and honestly this is more of the result that i would like on a regular basis than when i use a flat iron because my hair is more fine like i have a lot of hair but my hair is fine so it can just like look really like limp and and um just bodiless really easy which is also why i'm like light-handed with products as well because i don't want my hair weighed down so this is actually like the perfect companion for me because i can use this and it's not going to get my hair so flat that it just looks like stuck to my head but at the same time i'm not worried about getting you know so much direct heat damage on my hair and i can easily use this on a regular basis throughout the week to just refresh and it not be so intense you know on my hair this delivered okay and the other brush was great too and definitely for the price point differences i think they're both good for where they're priced at because i think the first one is like 35 dollars or something like that and this one is closer to 70. they're worth the price on both sides so if you're somebody who's like i just need something that's going to help me get my hair blown out smooth quicker then you can really do the first one the original one and be good but if you want like a true styler like a blowout styler that gives you versatility i would choose this one like it's also compact little like i could just throw this in my travel bag or like in my bag like it's just it's and it's lightweight like it's there's no like negatives here <laughs> like at all so i'm just actually very impressed because i was like i don't know what this is gonna do when my hair is like wet you know wet to straight or curly to straight i don't know what it's gonna do but hey it did what it do okay the results speak for themselves so i ain't gotta keep talking to y'all about this y'all could just you know look at this hair and make judgments for your own okay but i hope y'all enjoyed this video i will definitely be back with more short hair tutorials i can't believe it uh i've never had my hair this short i don't plan on going back long this is just the the, the season of my life that i'm in okay sarai's hair is now the big naturally curly head of hair that i'll be playing in all the time so i hope you enjoyed this video definitely don't forget to like and subscribe uh tune in moving forward definitely put me on your notifications if you're not following me on instagram and tiktok i am jade godbolt on both 
I've also recently redid my website so it's a little bit more clean, a little bit more you know, specific, easy to navigate, and just showing you exactly what all I've got going on in one solid place. That is also jadegodbolt.com. And as well, if you wanna follow me and my fam, we also have a family page on Instagram called The God Boat Life. If you wanna look at some of the content we've done, check us out there. Also, you can search the hashtag The God Bolts, and that's all me and Mark, uh, our date nights, our spending time together, and things like that. So definitely check us out. And yeah, until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye.